Welcome back, guys. Till now, you have seen how to install request tracker. Here on, I will show you how to create tickets and entire functional part. How we'll be able to use in your production environment. So let's quickly. I will log into the site and show you how to create tickets. So this is my dashboard. You could see I am going to create a new ticket. To create a new new ticket, you have multiple options. One option you can click on the create new ticket this button. You can also click on the home and click on create ticket. And below you have a quick creation option here. You can create it from there. I click on create new ticket. The moment you will create a, a new ticket here, uh, the importance is the basics area. So you app support. And uh, to further expand, only one option. However, queue is something which is very very important in uh, the request tracker because if you create anything like a custom field, you set an SLA. So this is the unique area where the system defines a queue. It also useful in the time of when we uh, enable the uh, request tracker events. So just for information, basics, then queue. This is very very important. This is the queue and request. As of now, you could see app support. Coming to this area, you have option for requesters. You have uh, CC admin CC. You can create a subject. You can put what exactly is the matter. You can click here for uh, attaching an item here. Select the file which you want. You can click simply open and then it does validates and add to attachment. So simply let's try creating a ticket. For now, what I'll do is I will simply uh, give a message error in CMS, something like that. And uh, what we will do is we'll simply click on create. But we are doing it, uh, we are just reporting an issue with the subject error reported in CMS. I say create new. You can put your signature in the system, but I am just doing it like this. Okay, then click on create. Okay, you can see ticket eight that is the ticket number created in app support. Okay, and these are the basic fields. If you go to the dashboard, uh, you would see that when ticket 10 newest and old tickets, meaning a ticket which is not owned by anyone, this is not assigned by anyone or not taken by anyone so this is the uh, 10 newest unknown tickets meaning those are not assigned tickets okay if you want uh, this ticket to be assigned to you it will uh, you have to just click on take and it will come from this section to this section that is 10 highest priority ticket i own so simply what i will do is i will click on take okay you can see uh, owner change from nobody to server. Okay, this is my login, and accordingly, these are the fields you will be able to see it here. Okay, so uh, we'll go back to dashboard again to show you quick shortcuts here. So, uh, by default, you'll see the priority comes low, app support in the queue, and the status. Uh, what I will do is quickly I will change the status from here. For example, say comes as new, I want to change the status to something like open I just clicked here itself and the status is changed I don't have to really open anything then I want to change a priority simply click on edit change and it's done if you have multiple queues configured definitely you'll be able to see the queues also from here as of now I'm not changing anything because I have only one queue then uh, this area also you could see the queue list which is app support one if you have multiple queues Will come here if you have any reminders, it will show you here, and if you have multiple dashboard, it will show you dashboard. And obviously, if you want to set the page to the refresh every two minutes, five minutes, this will, whatever you will choose, uh, at like two minutes, then uh, the page of this every two minutes is going to be refreshed. So, basically, you know, uh, if a new ticket comes up or there's a new update, uh, the dashboard has to be reloaded. Manually. So this is a good thing if the uh, system is given, you can keep a uh, number of minutes when the dashboard has to reload. 
Okay. Now uh, let's go to the uh, ticket and see. So the basic here, you could see the ticket ID, you can see the status, you can see the priority, you can see the queue. Simply, if you want to change any of the basic fields, click on the pencil icon here and immediately you see the options very easy you can simply click whatever status you want and these are the areas like time estimated time work time like you can change the priority and simply click on save so once you do this automatically uh, i mean immediately the changes will be reflected in the then we have people people meaning uh, related people to the ticket for now you see uh, owner and the owner you can add the requester by default i have actually created it i should be the uh, requester here i can change the requester from me to somebody else and the admin so now i have a limited users in the system if you see nobody in particular and uh, however i have an inbuilt super user account which is the uh, root that is something also can be uh, but as of now, not changing it because it will show you once we create more users in the system. Then we have attachments. This is the attachment which I selected while creating the ticket. So I do see this particular attachment here and what time it is. Okay. Then uh, uh, slightly scroll down, you see the history below and here reminders. So uh, reminders are nothing but uh, 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 an area. So if I go to dashboard, you see reminders. Okay. So uh, when we say reminders, uh, we can create reminders. For example, say something like close, ensure closure by or anything that you want to keep as a subject for that particular ticket. Uh, this ticket as a ticket ID is true. Okay. So you can create a do uh, set a new date. For example, today I am day four December. So uh, I mean whatever date that you want. For example, say. Uh, you want uh, 25th okay and click on save so uh, what happens it uh, it has created and it is due by four hours if you click on home and you should be able to see the reminders here okay so we created the ticket we saw reminders and then we have queues we have dashboard then uh new unowned tickets and uh, here one good option bookmark ticket. So any ticket that you create in the system and uh, you want to like uh, focus it kind of bookmark, what you can do is just open that particular ticket and here you will see this bookmark ribbon. Just click on that option and it will turn green. Come to your dashboard and you should see like, you know, these are your reminders. This one ticket is reflecting here and as well as here. So uh, if you want to remove the bookmark to uh, from a ticket, simply click on this green color remove bookmark option available here. Just click on that and then uh, bookmark is removed. So if I reload this dashboard, now bookmark has come. Then uh, reminders. So reminders, so whenever you have to mark it close. For example, say today I have completed this one. Okay. I will just simply click on this and do save changes. Then what happens is it will mark that particular reminder status as completed. Okay, so let's see check checkbox to complete. This is uh, giving me the instruction. I'll just go back on the home screen and you can see the my reminder section is now blank, meaning the reminder uh, whichever I had uh, created, I marked that as completed. After reminders, I'll show you one more thing. So if you see this 10 highest priority or this section or any of these sections, you will see this gear icon. So if you want to customize this area, meaning you want to add more uh, columns here or you want to remove an existing column, just click on this uh, uh, gear icon and you will see this add columns option. For example, say uh, I want to know who is the reporter. So I would say reporter. Uh, this is an option created by I would say created by and here link it gives you an option to you know uh, kind of uh, type as of now created by is a normal field so you can just add it here and it will be added you can uh, change the uh, column of the uh, 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 sequencing but I will do is I'll add uh, add one more column that is update status and we'll click here and then save okay preferences same go back to dashboard 
you would see uh, created by who is created this ticket and whether there is a new message so how uh, this new message box is something important so for example a ticket has been created okay in rt or say rt5 uh, we have multiple ways of uh, creating the tickets basically two ways one is uh, you create the ticket manually by logging in the system or somebody can write an email to the inbox so uh, the queue for example we talk about this app support so there's an email which we need to configure so after that what happens is when the moment uh, uh, a user is sending an email to the support id which is configured inside rt it will create ticket with support so uh, here what happens is in that case uh, once the user has uh, you know reported a ticket has been created after that somebody is replying to that email so there will be new message so in that case a uh, new message is it will come as yes or uh, the status will say as new that means somebody has replied to that email at the same time uh, if the ticket has been created manually and somebody is coming here and adding a comment like here you see here somebody can come and write a comment on this or somebody uh, can also come here and you know reply to your messages so if you this communication somebody can reply or you can reply so this options available so uh, for example say uh, i would say let's see You just simply come here and update it so if you come back to the dashboard uh it is not updated the status so i'd be it showed however when i tested it through the email uh this something worked so we'll do one more test uh Okay, I am only the person who is actually doing the comment, so maybe not taking it up. With uh, what I'll do is I have another user here as root uh, super admin user. We'll try with that. Okay. Okay, I'm just saying update ticket. To log out from here and log in with the other user. Okay. And you could see the status says new. So what happens is when root is actually uh, doing it has come. So earlier it was not showing me new. Why? Because I was only the person who created it, and I only have uh, written a comment and reply to that particular ticket. So that is the reason it was not showing. But when some other user is doing it, then definitely it will be the status as new. Hope you have liked this tutorial and learned something. RT is a very nice system that you can implement in your organization, and it does not cost you anything until uh, you really go and subscribe for the paid services. And the software, uh, it gives you full fledged access of the entire system. There is no limitation. It's very nice system. It gives you a lot of flexibility, a lot of configurations. That's something we will also look into uh, coming tutorials. I will explain you how the email integration works, how incoming mails are being integrated in RT, how RT system is sending emails uh, using SMTP. All these configurations we will uh, explore in our coming tutorials. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. See you in next video.